Hey, you, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another car mechanic video. Today, I thought we we're gonna go to a place where we haven't been before. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump into their location. So, one of the places we haven't really visited has been the car salon or saloon. I don't know why it's just not called car shop or something. Anyway, though, we're going there. We're here. We have arrived. I haven't really been very often here because what you can get in here is like fully complete cars So I don't really know what the point of this is. Maybe you can buy these and like Upgrade them further for some profit. I don't really know. I kind of feel like a lot of the cars in here are overpriced But uh, let's see if <laughs> oh my god. What the hell this this thing already has caught my eye. What even is this? Is this like a drag loan? What the? It's a tiny little car. This thing's amazing. What is this? It's a little tiny motor. 72 horsepower. Hopefully, we, maybe we could increase that. 88,000 for a Honda lawnmower. 88,000 for this? What? <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Uh, over here, we've got a Ford. Is this a Bronco? Is this a Ford Bronco? Uh, what is this? It is a Bronco. God damn, I actually got something right. I'm super impressed. Nice car here. Uh, don't know how much this is cost. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the interior. Very clean interior. Let's uh, turn it on here. Okay, looks pretty cool. Ford Bronco XLT. Don't know what that stands for. Maybe extra large titties or something. Let's close the door there. Uh, let's have a look at this thing. This thing. How the hell is this cheaper? Look at the engine swaps we can do for this, though. We can put a big old V8 in there. We can put a V8, V8 boss, V8 supercharged. We can put massive engine in here. I mean, it's technically already got a V8, but we can put a real big V8 in there and get some real power out of that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, can we do anything with this? I kind of want to... There's no engine swap, but I think we can do something with this. Over here, here's like the actual game car. This is like the fake one. This is a... Royal GTR. So this is that uh, Mercedes car, right? Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but it's got to be that one, right? Surely. It looks kind of ugly. I don't want that. Over here, we have the McLaren. Uh, the, the the one that we sold, right? The P1. Was it McLaren F1 GT? Not P1. I'm an idiot. McLaren F1 GT. 2.8 million. Holy smokes. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, we did rescue build one of these. If you remember, we found this at the junkyard. It looks pretty clean. Nice car, but we're not going to do anything with this. And over here, a beautiful RS7. Oh, baby. I actually, ooh. Me likey likey. Look at this. Me likey a lot. Let's see. Let's go inside. Here we go. Let's take a look inside of the interior. That is nice. Looks very good interior. I like the RS7s. Uh, they're pretty goddamn nice cars there. Big old, uh, I'm gonna guess this is a big old V8 in here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a V8, right? What is that? V8 supercharger, that thing sounds nasty. For like... 148,000. Okay, no thank you. How is everything so expensive here? Literally, the cheapest thing is... How much is this? The cheapest thing here is the Ford Bronco at like 78,000. This lawnmower over here, 88,000. 88,000 for a Honda lawnmower to go 72... Sold. What could go wrong? Yeah. Um. <laughs> great. Rich guy. I got an achievement saying rich guy. Uh. Yeah. But I guess you have to be an idiot to come buy cars here because this is overpriced. Holy crap! Is this Redline? God damn. Just kidding. Redline has the best car deals in town. But look at this thing. So we got it back in the garage. I don't. Whoa. It's kind of freaking out a little bit here. You okay there? Game having a little bit of seizures. So. What can we do with this thing? Let's do, uh, let's move car, move it to the car lift B. I have a few ideas we can do with this. I don't know if we, so let's lift it up. I'm thinking if we, if we do actually, you know, look, can I, can I get to the, oh, what the hell? Can I, oh, okay. Let me get this engine. Can I get to the engine? How do I get to the engine? So let's try this out. I'm really confused. Let's take off the wheels. Uh, it's actually got like brakes. Whoa, why is it dying? Hello, game. Okay, it seems to be better now. So here's my idea. I'm going to take off the wheels because I want to put some... Uh, I think I want to put the nicer drag tires on it. Okay, so that's why we're kind of lifted up in the air a little bit. The rest seems perfectly fine condition. 
I don't think we can do much there. Apart from, does it have a trans... Oh, so it does have a gearbox. So we can get a better gearbox for it as well. Uh, we're going to upgrade a couple of things here. I don't think we can do much. We can do gearbox. And then we can do some stuff with the fuel tank. For example, with this fuel pump. If we take that out. And we, we already buy a better fuel pump. If we go in here. So fuel. Uh, make sure we get one already. Because I don't want to forget. Uh, and then we can install that uh, at the back already as well. I'm just going to take these wheels off. Uh, we're going to trick it out a little bit. See what we can do with this. I don't think we can do much. Uh, no, I Honestly, I don't really want to do much with it. Because, obviously, <laughs> it's a goddamn lawnmower that is worth 88000 Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna, that's, a, that's a no from me there. That's, that's a no from me, Chief. 88000 What? Do you know how many nice cars you can buy for 88000 what kind of prices is this? So we did that, um, which is great. So now, um, now let's lower it. And what we need to do is this. Uh, we're going to move it over to that. And also, I need to take off this engine that I was like half building here. So if we can just, uh, if we can just take you out of here, that'd be great. So take off engine. Thank you. We we'll go to here. Uh, pull out the engine. Uh, oh, we need the gearbox. Uh, God damn. Okay, this was really difficult to get to this bloody starter thing there. That was really hard to get. Um, so, I need to take off this. Uh, I need to lift it, obviously, now. That was really hard. That was, uh, I was struggling to get to the goddamn uh, in middle of the engine. I had to, like, peek through there. That was uh, that was super weird. Uh, but let's see if we can do this. As you can see, this lift is, like, magic. Harry Potter. What? But now we can get to the gearbox, right? We can take this off, which is nice. So let's take that out of here. We can get a little bit of a better gearbox as well. We can obviously get better plates as well. I know that for sure. Uh, let's get the drive shaft out of here as well. Is there anything else we can improve? I think that's kind of it. Just the engine. Obviously, we're going to rebuild the engine. Uh, that's going to be the main thing where we get the power out. I kind of want to get as much power of this as we can get. Uh, you know, get the wall this uh, little lawnmower we can. Nothing. Maybe... Maybe we can do something else. I don't think so. That's probably going to be it for that. So let's, uh, uh, yeah, let's remove that. And then let's get it over here. So the final thing, I think, before I need to get the engine out is drain this oil. So let's drain that. Just uh, make the car pee a little bit, as you can see. There's actually kind of a lot of pee here. So let's move the equipment back. Uh, lower it now. Load the little lawnmower. And I believe we should be able to get it out, right? Pull it out. There we go. <laughs> that's what that's what she said. And then we add the engine, and here it is. Here is the little old engine. Uh, let's uh, uh, we need to uh, let's rotate it. So what I want to do here, obviously it's not a very big engine here, so we don't have to worry about too much. Basically, I kind of want to rebuild it, and we're gonna try to get uh, as much power as we can out of it. Uh, it's a uh, it's a small little thing and it's it's not a big one. So it was running what 72 horsepower if we could get I Don't know what kind of improvements you guys think we can if we could add like 50 horsepower to that I think that'd be pretty sketchy, but uh, at the same time I'd really like that so Our plan here is we're gonna add the parts that we can add that will improve the power uh, Which is we need to actually get to the pistons because we can add the better pistons. Uh, so there's got to be, what, like three pistons in there, I guess? I don't know how many would be in there. Uh, I'm going to guess got to be a couple of them in there, right? So to replace those, we actually need to kind of pretty much uh, take everything apart. We need to take the engine apart. Which kind of sucks. We don't have to take everything off, but I think the fuel pump we were able to get better. And maybe a better alternator. I think those were the two we can get. Uh, I don't know about the belts was there a better belt i really can't remember i guess we could open this up because it's, it's just one plate right covering it there you go so i believe we need to actually open this because we need to get to the camshafts camshafts because the camshafts we can get better i don't know what happened to my accent so we actually need to take this off because we can get those parts better ah, there's a load of these little sh stupid cam holder things so i gotta get rid of these and we probably can get an engine head better as well. So those, the, we actually need to take those these these apart. Uh, so kind of technically we are taking the whole engine apart. Which does suck. But I want to get to the pistons. Get as much juice as we can from this. Because it's a little bit of a different build. It's not quite a junker build. It's a 
way, way overpriced lawnmower build. At least you'll be able to do drifts around, you know, when you're doing doing your lawn, which is cool, I guess, right? What do I need to take off here? The exhaust mode. Alright, take the sucker off. Okay, it is three pistons. Fantastic. So, now uh, I need to take the oil pan. Oh, there's a roll here. Take that off. Get the oil pan out of here. And then hopefully I can get to the pistons. Um, we need to take off here these. These can get improved as well, which is good. So, I'm just kind of trying to remember what, what parts of the engine we can actually improve. There we go. So, now we can take out the crankshaft. I need to actually get like under it. Oh, we need to remove a thermostat or something. That's that's new, I think. Can I remove this? Why can't I move this? Maybe I need to rotate it. I know why I can't remove this, because the goddamn... Okay, here we go. Right. This makes sense. This makes sense. I actually just need the pistons. I don't need to take the crankshaft out. So if I remove these... Alright, there we go. And then take the piston out. Take that out. And take that out. So now... Let's buy some of these parts that we can get that will improve it. So, I think if we do I3, uh, here we go. We can get some stuff here. So, there we go. We need two of these. Uh, we need these as well. We can improve intake manifold. That's cool. We can get that as well. Throttle, we can get that as well. I don't know if we can get a turbo. That would be pretty goddamn cool. Could we get a turbo? We'll have to try that. I need that. I need that. Uh, which one was it? I don't remember. I think it might have been... Uh, shit. I can't remember which one it was. I don't want to spend 1,700, so we're just going to have to wait. Um, also, we need some with the pistons. We get three of these. There we go. Then ignition coils. We get three of these. I already got the fuel rail. Uh, spark plugs. We get three of these. And then we go to gearbox. We can get a flywheel. Boom, clutch, boom, and clutch plate, boom. Uh, that is it, uh, I think, what we can get for now. Let's rebuild this, um, and uh, we're going to get some... I think I can just add this. There we go. Actually, alternator and water pump. Let's see if uh, we can get a... Is there anything water? Water. Nope. Looks like nothing there. But we can get an alternator that does give us a little bit extra juice. So, might as well add that. That will give every, every little helps, right? So, let's add the nice one back up. The cool thing is, pretty much every single of the parts we do have. There you go. Uh, I don't know about the thermostat, because there's a thermostat that goes there. I kind of want to see if we do get that, because I never had that. The answer is no. We don't get anything with this thermostat, so that's good to know. Uh, let's add some of these parts now, then. These nice ones, make sure we get the nice ones on there. Not the old ones, there you go. We're going to have to take this thing drag racing or something stupid. It's going to be great. There you go. Add that. And let's get these pistons on here with the... Uh, that one with, uh, with the ring. There you go. Not It, it adds quite a bit. One point... One three percent extra power, you know, that actually adds up a little bit, you know. Say what you want to say, boys, but that adds up some power. So now it's just the easy part. We just add the parts that we took off, which are all hundred percent. I still can't believe this thing was eighty eight thousand. Like what? I better get some cool like hot rod paint on it or something. I wanna get, you know, like like fire or something, you know, that like cool hot rod fire flames and stuff. That'd be pretty neat, but I kind of feel like we're not going to be able to add that. So it was a uh, engine head B that we needed. Okay, that's easy. So we'll just type I3 again. Engine head B. Boom. Let's get that sucker. Add that on top. Uh, I'm really intrigued to see how much juice we can get out of this. So now that we don't have our intake manifold as well, I think we've got a little bit better one. This is a big one. 3% increased fuel. I mean, not fuel, power. That's uh, that's going to help a lot. That's really who is. Throttle as well. We got a 2.5. That's what I'm talking about. All together, there, that's nearly like 5% increase. Add these, that's 5% as well. So that's like 10. Dude, it is adding up. 
I think we can get some real good power out of here as well. Look at that, 3% there as well. Yeesh. This is going to be one bad ass lawnmower, dude. So let's just add all these parts here. Uh, super easy to finish. I think that was kind of it pretty much. Apart from these, we can add these spark plugs as well. Add a little bit. Not a lot. We can only add three of them. And they only had 0.13%. So these are not going to be a huge increase. But like I said, every little bit it helps. So I want to make sure I get the best I can. Now this is good. 3% for the fuel rail. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Now we're just going to add like five of these. Or four. On each side. And we're going to be cooking. Cooking with a little bit of bacon. Some scrambled eggs. You know, because I like my eggs scrambled. A little bit of orange juice. Get some nice toast. A little bit of seasoning. You know, maybe a little bit of greens in there. And that's going to be a goddamn beautiful breakfast, okay? So, let's add this. Engine cover and the timing cover, I think, right? Get that up here, too. There you go. The engine's pretty much nearly rebuilt. So, let's just get all the rollers back up. Get the, the uh, crank pulley. Uh, we don't need a water pump. We already have that. Here we go. Get the belt. I think a tension belt thing here as well. And that is it, I think, for the engine. That is, like I said, it was a really quick engine rebuild. Just going to make sure. Seems everything's fine. Uh, so let's uh, take engine off. And let's put it in there. So install engine. Install that one. And uh, now what I want to add uh, is if we lift it one more time up. So I want to add, uh, I think, let's just add these. I don't believe these do anything extra. So add that. Add the uh, crankshaft as well, or drive shaft, sorry, not crankshaft, there we go. So that's pretty much everything that we took off, apart from the wheels, we'll add the wheels, make it a little bit nicer. There we go. Uh, I want to add Gearbox i3, if we go to the better Gearbox store, now I don't know if this does really any difference, here we go, so i3 right here, maybe this makes it a little bit quicker, I still don't know if this does anything, because you could just get a cheaper one. But we're going to go kind of out here. Uh, so we're going to get this one and that. There you go. Maybe we get a couple, little bit of horsepower. Also, one thing we can change is this. The fuel... Um, where this thing is called. We can replace that as well to get a little bit more power. Here we go. Fuel filter. Add one of those. Now, is there anything else that we need to do? We can check if there's any air filters. We could maybe get a little bit more air filter. I mean, 1% and then a huge thing. But we can try. And I think that was kind of it, really, that we can do anything there. So let's replace this. And we can get a little bit more power out of there. There you go. And also, we also need the starter. So make sure we add that, because otherwise this thing won't work. So I think that's fine. Uh, let's add some fuel as well, so don't forget if I can add some fuel. Why does it glitch out sometimes? Makes me sad. There you go. Add the fuel. And um, now, let's get some nicer wheels. We'll get the wheels with the little text on it. I think that'll look pretty cool. So let's see what we can do here as well. I think the rims that they did give this thing are these. They're not that nice. Um, so if we can maybe get some really gangster wheels on it, I think that'd make it look super stupid. And why the hell not? I don't know how people do it, because here's the here's the kind of annoying thing. I can't get the right wheels for this. I can't get the right tires. So it always bugs me out, because I'm trying to put some different wheels on it, but they're just not the right tires. So I guess I'll just put the old ones on, because I don't want to mess around with it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, the back ones were... Yeah, there we go. These were the right ones. So, I don't know how to do this. There must be some kind of option or something. I don't know if there's like a wheel setting or something. But I can't seem to get the correct wheels. Um, one, either the wheels are too small and the tires are too small. I can't get them big enough. I can't get them fat enough. It's, it's, God, it's super frustrating. But here we go. We've got the last wheel here. Add this one. Which is going to make it look pretty goddamn nice. And also... Let's add the few few things that I did take off, which was the headlight. I don't know why I took this off. I was trying to get to the engine bay, and I was just taking stuff off just to get there, and 
it was it didn't even work and also at the back here as well add that uh anything else did i take off i think we're good um let's get this in the paint i do i do want to see how this thing will look please have some badass liveries or something we can do for this thing because that'd be the best thing ever so let's see sadly it didn't have any liveries but this like disgusting kind of candy floss pink i think suits it pretty bad so we had to go with it now to find out how fast this thing is uh we're gonna have to go dino it because obviously we will right uh i want to see if we can get a little bit more speed oh, i didn't tell it i didn't i didn't move it to the dino god damn it can i go through here here we go uh let's do uh move vehicle put it to dino which should i mean when have you ever done the lawnmower right okay so 72 horsepower let's see what we can get run the dino If we can get a hundred, I'll be pretty pleased. So, give me something. Give me some power. Give me something interesting. Okay. Seems like we got a little... <laughs> right on the money. A hundred horsepower lawnmower. What? You know, that's faster than a heck of a lot of cars. One hundred... Oh, okay, we gotta test this out. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh my god, what the hell? Here we go, let's see what speed we can get up to. We're going. A hundred... What? 206 miles per hour. Looks like we topped up at 206. That is... <laughs> disgustingly pretty good, what the f... <laughs> okay. Well, it does say in kilometers, it's not miles per hour, right? So it's not quite. I kind of, I kind of lied to you guys. What the hell? Um, let's uh, let's retry that. Maybe we can change it miles per hour. It's in kilometers, so it's not quite correct. You know, I am kind of um, lying to you guys there a little bit. Look at this thing, though. This thing looks ridiculous. What the actual hell? Oh God! What the hell? Drifting? What do you know about a drifting lawnmower? Like I said, dude, the brakes are crazy in this thing. It actually kind of goes pretty quick. This is a nutty lawnmower. Look at the brakes in this thing. It actually squats a little bit, which is kind of cool. Watch. When it changes gear. Do you see that? Watch when it changes gear. Actually squats a little bit. It goes back. That's kind of nifty. I don't know. This thing's pretty neat. A uh, hundred and... Uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? So if it's a hundred and no, it was like two or six kilometers per hour. Um, what just happened? So the hundred brake horsepower lawnmower, baby, build. Here it is. Um, I built a lawnmower, mom. Get the camera. So if we wanted to sell it, how much? I made no money. I literally made no money on this thing, so we're not gonna sell it. Um, we're gonna probably add it to the collection, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining. We got a stupid lawnmower for 88,000. Um, I make bad decisions and bad purchases. I'll see you next time when hopefully we're going to make a good one and make some money. I mean, not that we need it. We've got 17, 17 M's in the bank, so we're okay. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.